So you're frying some bacon when a drop of hot oil pops and lands right on your hand. Ow! Now imagine the same thing happening, but it's lava. Your bacon will definitely be burnt, but what about your hand? You'd probably be saying other words besides ouch, which we can't repeat here. Lava. It's the stuff that flows from volcanoes and starts out as something called magma, also known as hot liquid rock. Magma earns its lava status once it gathers some courage and comes out of its shell. I mean, when it surfaces. It's not just a terminology thing. That magma also loses some gases and acids when it gets its new name tag. So exactly how hot is the stuff? Well, that depends on how fresh it is. Lava here! Get your fresh hot lava right here! I'll take some lava! It's hottest when it first erupts from underground and cools down as it flows. You can make an educated guess of its temperature based on the color. Lava Temp 101. The brighter, the hotter. It starts out bright orange and burning at about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it cools down to bright red, about 1600 degrees. Dark red, 1300 degrees. Brownish red, 1000 degrees. And finally black when it's hardened. 2000 degrees. Think of the hottest day you could ever bear. What was it, 100 something outside? Multiply that by 20, and now imagine a drop of it falling on your hand. Ooh. Now put it this way. Let's say your cat-like reflexes pulls your arm away before the lava can make contact. Well, it just continue its gravity-driven journey and burn through your floor, and maybe drip-dropping through the neighbor ceiling and floor below. Though remember, this stuff is liquid rock, and it cools down when it's not 100 miles below the surface of the Earth. You'd still have a fire to deal with, so grab the extinguisher fast. Wait, where'd you get this lava anyway? In some kind of indestructible dropper that keeps it hot enough to remain liquefied? Do they sell those online? Fine, we'll go with it. So if the floor couldn't stop it, you can go ahead and call that soft, fleshy arm of yours lava lunch. You ever see those videos of people melting metal and pouring it on stuff? I imagine you'd have yourself an in-one-side-out-the-other situation on your hand, literally. But if it's a tiny drop, it'd be more like a new lava real estate. The gooey, fiery stuff would eventually cool, harden, and stick to your skin. Your new mole would still burn like the dickens, don't you doubt it. But here's the good news. You wouldn't feel the scorching pain, at least not right away. Your nerves would be burnt before you have that time to react. The takeaway? Never ever touch lava. But you know that. So let's stir things up. Let's try a little hypothetical thought experiment. Imagine you can withstand the temperatures. You're superhuman. Like those people who can swallow hot lead. But you're even more epic, with an insatiable hunger to test your powers. Even when you were little, you always liked food with a kick. You could eat the hottest buffalo wings in the city. While grown adults were reaching for that glass of milk after a couple bites, you were asking for more hot sauce. As a teen, you could drink the hottest hot sauce like water. As for actual water, you could chug it from a boiling pot. Doctors couldn't explain your abilities. You're a phenomenon. You make headlines. Your journey continued. After college, you decide to find the hottest pepper on the planet, the Carolina Reaper. This pepper has been known to send people to the hospital. It can literally burn your tongue. These horror stories only attract you, so you book a ticket to South Carolina immediately. You arrive at a local plantation, and the farmer gives you the ripest, reddest, hottest pepper he's got. You take a deep breath, bite off half, and nothing. You don't feel the spice, only a sweet taste. Confused and upset, you eat a few more of the red, wrinkly peppers, but still feel nothing. All the shock farmer can say is, the only thing hotter than this pepper is lava itself. Well, he might have been joking, but even weeks later, you can't get those words out of your head. What if you tried just a drop? Would lava be your perfect hot sauce? The one you've searched for your whole life? Your curiosity brings you to Hawaii, home of the most active volcano in the world, Kilauea. Red-hot lava flows from it all the time, like tentacles of fiery rivers reaching out in all directions. The idea of tasting the deepest, oldest part of this planet, it consumes you. Sounds poetic, but it's true. You see, it's hot enough to melt rock underground. 
And the deeper you go, the higher the temperatures get. Eventually, you reach the core, the heart of our planet that's been burning since the beginning. Veins of magma flow up from the outer core, through the mantle, and towards the surface. Sometimes, especially thick magma builds up so much pressure that it gets blown out in an explosive eruption. That's the more theatrical type of display. There are also effusive eruptions, where thin, runny lava just slowly and quietly oozes out. Yeah, not as exciting. Anyway, it's time to taste Kilauea. You start your ascent, ignoring the crusty dark specimens – not hot enough, remember? You climb higher, where the lava will be brighter, fresher, and hotter. You take out a cast-iron spoon. Here it is, the moment of truth. You scoop up a small amount of lava, feel its heat, and let a couple drops fall into your mouth. Oh yeah, it's really hot, you finally feel it. But what a disgusting taste. Like eating rocks, yuck. No doubt about it, you haven't found the perfect ultimate hot sauce. But you can enjoy the enchanting and terrifying view of the volcano. The lava lake below boils like a rich soup. Thick hot fumes rise into the air. Because of them, you would have passed out long before you even made it to the rim to enjoy the view, but we'll ignore that part. Standing there feeling a little disappointed, but still in awe, you can't help but wonder. What if someone fell in? You might have a stomach of steel, but you decide not to try your luck. Plus, you vaguely recall that a certain light bulb inspired YouTube channel made a really fun and informative video about falling into a volcano. Hmm, I'll have to rewatch that, you say to yourself as you descend the mound and head back home. Wow, what a trip! Hmm, I think I want some buffalo wings now. <laughs> anyway, if you learned something new today or had a good time along the way, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!